if we have a conditional statement um, that is true and its converse is true, then we can write it as a biconditional statement. And a biconditional statement contains the phrase if and only if, and we can see it written using these symbols. Okay, so we can say P if and only if Q, or P implies Q, um, and also Q implies P. Okay, so we're gonna look at an example here. It says, if two angles are complementary, then the sum of their measures of the angles is 90 degrees. So if we wanna write this as a biconditional statement, we could just say two angles are complementary if and only if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Okay, so that if and only if there um, kind of is our designation for a biconditional statement. All right, along with biconditional statements, we have what are called truth tables. So truth tables are a way to look at the truth value of a statement um, or to determine the conditions under which a conditional statement is true. So if we think about a statement, um, a statement can either be true or false, right? So we have four different types of statements that we can look at. We have our conditional statement, um, and then we have a converse, we have an inverse, and we have our contrapositive. So if we look down here at the bottom, it tells us that a conditional statement um, is only false when a true hypothesis produces a false conclusion. That's the only time that our conditional statement will be false. So if we have true hypothesis, false conclusion, then we will say that the statement is false. So our conditional statement truth table is done for us. All right, we see it right here. Um, so we have P and we have Q, right? P is our hypothesis, Q is our conclusion. And we think about the value of that statement, right? The, the hypothesis can either be true or false, and the conclusion can either be true or false. So that gives us four possibilities. We could have true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. So this conditional statement, let's walk through it and, and figure out why our last column is like we see it. So if we have a true hypothesis and a true conclusion, then the statement will be true. If we have a true hypothesis, but a false conclusion, that's where it's gonna lead us to a false statement. So that's why we have false there. If we have false, then true, we will say that statement is true. And if we have two false, they will basically counteract each other and create a true statement. Okay, so now let's look at converse. We gotta remember what converse is. Converse is when we just switch Q and P. So we don't have to create an extra column in our truth table here. We can just look at the true and false letters, the, va the values backwards, okay? So we're gonna look at the Q column first, and then we'll look at the, the P column. So we'll say if Q, then P, right? So for our first, we have this would still be true, true, right? So we're gonna say this is a true statement. Now we have, we're gonna read this now, instead of true, false, we're gonna read the Q column first, so we're gonna say false, true, and that will give us a true statement. Now down here, the third one, we're gonna read as true, false, and there's our true hypothesis, but our false conclusion, so that will render us a false statement. And the last one is still false, false, so we'll call that true, okay? All right, so let's look at inverse. Inverse now is where we negate the hypothesis and conclusion. We don't switch the order, but we negate them, right? So if P was true, not P would be false. This would also be false. This would be true, and this would be true. All right, now we're gonna do the opposite for Q. Right here, Q was true, so now it's false. Q is false, so now it's true. True to false, and false to true. And now we evaluate not Q to not P. Excuse me, not P to not Q. So this is, I'll kind of show us where we're at here. We're gonna start here, we're gonna go false, false. So this will be a true statement. False, true, so this will be a true statement. And true, false. So here's where um, our false statement comes in, right? True hypothesis, but false conclusion. And here we have true, true. So that would be a true statement. And lastly, we have the contrapositive. So contrapositive, we do negate uh, both the hypothesis and conclusion, but now this time we change the order as well. 
So we're going to negate Q. So this will be false, true, false, true. And we'll negate P. So false, false, true, and true. Okay. And now we're going to look at it in the order of not Q implies not P. So this will be false, false. So that'll be true. And here's our true hypothesis, but false conclusion. False, true, and true, true. And that is how we evaluate a biconditional statement and use a truth table to determine the conditions under which a statement is true.